Hidden Miracles of the End Times of Our Prophet Number 5. The Iran-Iraq War The way that everything foretold by our Prophet has come true in just the way he described it is a miracle. You are about to witness one of these miracles now. Our Prophet described the Iran-Iraq War 1,400 years ago, just as if he had seen it with his own eyes. There will be tumult in Shawal, the 10th Islamic month. Talk of war in Dul Qadha, the 11th Islamic month. And the outbreak of war in Dul Hijjah, the 12th month. There will be tumult in Shawal. The first uprising against the Shah took place on 5th Shawal, 1398, September 8, 1976, as indicated by the Hadith. Talk of war in Dul Qadha and the outbreak of war in Dul Hijjah. A full-blown war broke out between Iran and Iraq in Dul Hijjah 1400, October 1980. Another hadith describes the details of this war as follows. A nation will come from the Farsi direction saying, you Arabs, you have been too zealous. If you don't give them their due rights, nobody will have an alliance with you. It must be given to them one day, and to you the following day, and mutual promises must be kept. They will be going up Mutech. Muslims will be coming down to the plain. Mushrikun, idolaters, will be standing over there on the bank of a black river, Rakhabe, on the other side. There will be a war between them. God will deprive both armies of victory. Those coming from the Farsi direction, those coming from the Iranian side. Mutech, name of a mountain in the region. Coming down to the plain, coming down to the Iraq plain. Rakhabe, region where the oil wells are concentrated. You Arabs, you have been too zealous. If you don't give them their due rights, nobody will have an alliance with you. This part of the Hadith may be referring to a disagreement between the two sides stemming from racism. War may break out because of that disagreement. God will deprive both armies of a victory. As noted by this sentence in the Hadith, the Iran-Iraq War lasted for eight years, and despite the many thousands of casualties, neither side could claim victory or decisive superiority. Now, note that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam foretold the Iran-Iraq War 1,400 years ago. He even foretold its outcome. You have witnessed a miracle of our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yet some Islamic scholars never mention it. Indeed, they deliberately keep it concealed. They are therefore assuming a grave responsibility in the sight of God. Honest and sincere scholars must discuss the miracles of our Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and tell people of these fine tidings.